Hey everyone, it's Nelson Miller here with PA Creative. Today I'm showing you how to link from a button to a toggle on the same page and it'll scroll down and automatically open the toggle. So this is great, uh, especially for like an FAQ section or something like that where you're linking and want to display the content inside the toggle right away so they don't have to click. Let's take a look. So we always have the tutorial linked in the description when you're watching on YouTube. So go ahead and click into that. I think we have five or six tutorials now about the toggle and accordions. So you can check those out. The first step is to add a CSS ID to each toggle module. So basically we're setting apart each toggle module to be unique because we need to know which one should open, right? When we click the button. So it's really simple. We're just adding an ID inside each toggle. And you can see in the screenshot here, we, we made it really simple, PA toggle one, you could do PA toggle two, et cetera, et cetera. So I'll go ahead and copy that. And then over here in my demo page, I will open up these toggles. See, I have three toggles here. So I'm gonna go in here and add that ID. All right, so it's in the advanced tab right here, right here like that. PA toggle one, and then the next one, it would do the same thing, PA toggle two, CSS ID. So it's not the class, it's the ID, okay? All right, you can see what I mean here. So for each one. So the next step is to add the anchor link, which will link to that ID. So an ID always has the hashtag or the pound symbol in front of it. So you can see right away from this screenshot, it's that PA toggle one, but at the beginning is the hashtag. And this is in the button in the link URL field, okay? So let's go ahead and do that. We'll go up here to a button. And remember, this is where we would put the link. So in the link toggle here, you know, we're saying, you know, hashtag and then PA toggle one like that. And that will link directly to it. And when we click this, it's going to scroll down to this toggle. That would be normal behavior aside from this tutorial, just creating an anchor link. All right, so that's all we've done at this point. We've created an anchor link from this button to the toggle. Step three is something that's required for the code to work. And that is adding a CSS class in the button. All right, so let's not get confused here. This goes in the button, the same button here where we had the link. We're going over to the advanced tab right in here to the CSS class like that. So PA toggle buttons. And we would put that into all of these buttons that we all want to, we want one button to link to each toggle, of course. So that's going in here, okay? So again, we have the ID in the toggle. We have the URL or the anchor link here. And then we have the CSS class in the button also. Lastly, we're adding the jQuery itself. So here's the snippet, you can copy that. Here's some instructions where you can add that. I'm going to add that directly on my page to make it simple and quick for the tutorials. I'm going to add a code module and paste that. You can even look in here, some of the things we're doing. Um, that is it. So now, once we exit the page, okay, here we go. So I want to click this and here we go. And it scrolls down and opens this one. Notice these are closed. Here, I'll open the third one. Scrolls down, opens that one. In fact, I'll close it again just to prove it. All right, let's open maybe the second one. See? That's it. That's how it works. Same for each of those buttons and toggles. Cool. Hope you enjoy that. Nice little fun tutorial. Um, yeah, just hope you enjoy my tutorials. I do them every week. Uh, every week there's something on YouTube and on the blog related to Divi or WordPress like this. So you can follow along and get these and hopefully they're beneficial to you. Leave a comment, subscribe, give me a like and all that good stuff. We'll see you in the next video.